Good one guys, going off grid again and check it out. We got another giant EV battery. This is the biggest one I've got yet. This is a 28 kilowatt. Uh, instead of a Hyundai, I don't know, Hyundai, some sort of Hyundai electric car, whatever that thing's called. I can't remember it off the top of my head. But we're going to take the sucker apart and see what kind of cells we got inside. We just started opening it. It's a crack had uh, some sort of hit on the back I don't know if that was part of the accident probably not it was probably just a forklift that was moving around squished the back but hopefully the cells are okay in here because I got quite a bit of money into this pack well let's find out together uh, looks like we're in luck at least for damage wise it looks mint on the inside the only thing that got damaged was this uh, air intake here for cooling the batteries battery does not have any liquid cooling that I can see interesting they all look like they have their own BMS though whatever these are so interesting awesome so one big battery like that's a big battery or maybe they're just stacked one two three that could be it too so, see the stuff on here Kind of like the same as the Pacifica cells, very similar. So, let's see once I get this apart some more, let's see what it looks like. So we got one of the front cells out, or modules. It says Hyundai, right on it. Come on, focus. Hyundai, green power. So I wonder if Hyundai actually makes this themselves. It's very interesting. What's it say on the back here? It says green power. Well, we're going to find out how many uh, S this is and uh, if these cells are good. i get the voltmeter out. Hey guys, how's it going? It's going off grid again. We're off grid. Well, pretty much like always. Got uh, the new BMS here. This thing's awesome. I really do like it. It's saying about 82%. And I don't know if we're actually at 82% or not. I feel like we're a little lower than that, but. Anyways. Because, what do we got here? Check it out, guys. Those are 6S. There's 6 6S modules right there. There's 6 10S modules right there, so. Guess what? I can use this in my system. 10S and 6S gives you 16S. So I have another 28 kilowatts of battery here. It's insane. Crazy how much power there is in here. So, yeah, there's 96 cells uh, or banks of cells total. So, ridiculous amount of voltage. There's all the balance wires and there's the rest of the the battery over there but yeah this is going into the system i was thinking about selling them but you know what right now i can only go my house takes so much power i can only go about two days and i want to be able to go about three days so this will give me that three days and i still have some chevy volt, volt batteries over there and i got batteries like these these batteries here i got uh two more like this so I could make a 48 volt pack, but I made 24 volt for this inverter. And yeah, if I get any more batteries, I keep saying this, but I might sell those. But yeah, anyway, anyways, we got the reliable, still kicking butt. This thing runs all the big stuff in the house except for the dryer. Runs all my ACs and my pool pump and all that stuff. So this thing is rocking because I know for a fact that this one I don't think was even able to run all this in, like together like say if my 12,000 BTU air conditioners on my two 5,000 BTU air conditioners were up on it's running everything in this room the projectors on my laptops on my computers on all that stuff then if I started the well pump I believe this one this one would uh, do the soft start surge and then overload 
this one doesn't. This one just starts everything up. Works great. So, loving it. I'm not using it through the transformer anymore because I, what I'm using it for, I don't need uh, uh, 240 volts. I only need it for 110, so it's doing really good. The magna signs are doing awesome running the rest of the house. They have, I have not seen any ill effects by putting uh, 66 volts into these things. Uh, I believe my one is going on two years old. And the other one is about a year, I believe. And I want to get a third. I want three of these. Just because, like, I have to, if I, I have to use these for all my ACs. Because if I don't, these get, I overload these. So, yeah. I want to keep doing that. It's not a great thing for an inverter, even a high-end brand like this. You overload it enough times, it's going to explode. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.